how do you just leave that? You leave that wherever you want to be allowed. Yeah. Gina, All right, um, who hasn't seen the Bravo choke or Darce choke before? Excellent. So we all know the basics of it, but we're going to go from half guard today. So Alan's half guard is uh, here, like so. And um, I want to be able to dare but obviously if we've got the knee shield in the way, uh, it's a long way to go before we can attack. So it, what I'm really depending on is like getting underneath Alan's arm here like this to try and get the dars, okay? But there's a couple of things obviously blocking me. The first one is his knee. I'm going to work on a quick way of getting his knee out of the way, his knee shield cleared. Um, I've done lots of methods of like trying to shunt beside and stuff like that, but I'm going to show a really simple one today. I'm going to put my hand on his hip and scoop underneath his knee here like this. And I'm going to lift this foot first. Okay? Don't lift this foot first. It does that if you just like reach and catch your foot, it can put you in a bit of trouble bringing it to the X guard or whatever. So from here, I'm going to lift this foot first. When he keeps his feet bound together, my job is going to be to get his knee, my knee in between. So I'm going to roll him up and just get my knee in here. Okay? And at that stage, because the knees are like pointing to the ceiling, it's not on my hip. And what I want to do then is begin to progress forwards, keep him, his knees nice and spread. I'm going to keep my hand down here like this, because if you can pinch his knees together, he's going to regain. So I'm going to keep my hand back here like this. I want him to now shoot for the underhook. Here. Okay? Like so. When we're going to go for this, what we're not going to do is we're not going to drop to our knee here like this and try and attach the dares like this. We're going to go out this way from here, all the way up. The full move, we're going to look up. Let me move back a little bit. Oh, knee shield inside first. Hand on the hip, step up, inside. When he begins to look for the underhook, we're going to drop. We're going to finish here. What I'm looking for, just with the grip, is that you can just see your thumb, okay? Uh, long arm people will get this nice and easy. Sometimes you might have to saw it through. We work a little bit on that. I don't want it any deeper than that. Hand to the bicep, grip your hand down the back and sprawl out slowly as you squeeze. Okay, so look again. Hand on hip here to push and roll his knee. But that elbow is going to go behind the knee when we come up. Step up, lift that knee with the other hand, and we're here. When you feel the underhook going now, don't go forwards, go sideways. So when the underhook comes in, I slide out. I almost exaggerate here. And there's your finish. You good to go? Let's go. Three to it. Okay, so look. I step up on this knee. I'm wriggling this knee through. So a couple of things, right? First things first is, if you want to go for the Bravo in this position or the Darce in this position, uh, and your opponent has already got up to this elbow and already shot the underhook here, like this. You're not too late. You could still catch it from here, but you're going to have to force him off his elbow, which can be very, very difficult. And you're going to have to push his head down, really shoot through here like this. But, in my opinion, if you're working with a good guy and he gets to his elbow, wraps his underhook here around like this, this is not the time to start choking him. He's, he's already too, it's too far, okay? At this stage, I'm looking to like wrap his head maybe, come around and try and sprawl my way out of the position, but, or like switch sides or something like that. Let's come back. So, the idea is that we're passing, we're like up on our foot here like this, so that when he goes, shoots that underhook, I'm quite mobile, I can come up a little higher. See, can't reach my hips now, you see that? I can come up like, we call it a margarita pass, or in that, that, almost like a neon belly position. And that when I come up now, that when I drop down, so I've come up high, I'm up in the center, and when I drop down, my hand can shoot underneath. I get like the force of my hips dropping to like smash him back to the mat. So even if he's up on his elbow now, as long as I've got the knee through the middle, I can like change the angle, so, or change the distance. So, if your opponent wraps your hip, gets up to his elbow, and you're like this, my knee's already on the mat here, I think I'll get, get, I'll put money on him. Coming up before I have a chance to attack, right? So, let's come back. So, from here, I get my knee up through, this foot is off the mat now. I'm mobile, when he tries to sit up, I just like come up further. When he tries to sit up again, 
Okay. Everybody happy enough with that? And I just need that much, and we'll see what we can do. Let's go, three, two, one. Let's do a little bit of finishing there, but we'll wait. Let's work a little bit on finishing. So when I get here, he shoots up for the under. I want you to make sure he gets off this elbow. Because even if I get my hands connected here, stay on the elbow here. This, I, I still have a lot of finishes, I have options for here. But the best thing to do is kind of run them flat. Okay? I'm going to do a couple of things first of all. First of all, Owen has like a stiff on the hook here. And I can't get my hand through. It's hard to beat. Connect your hands with your fingers here. And saw. Okay? That's my favorite way to do it, to be honest. It's like nasty and uh, nasty and technical at the same time, right? But sometimes the guy's very, very strong. You still able to come up on this here, like this, and you're, you're struggling. You can like threaten the guillotine here like this, and there's no harm in doing that, okay? Uh, so we can try two things. The, the saw here as well, I can just connect my hands. The steps come up here. If I feel now he's coming up to his knees, I'm gonna let him come. And I'm gonna connect my hands here like this. Take my bravo again, okay, my same position, and then I'm just gonna sit under this. Finish with him on top. The goal here is just to keep his arm. Okay. okay, let's have a look at that again. We move over here a little bit, huh? Consciousness. The lazy bastards who are at home, not watching this, uh, watching this on YouTube instead of watching them coming up training on Friday. So from here, I shoot under. Okay, he stays on his knees. If I can run him, I will. Okay, I want to run him, but it's my preference. Okay, bones on my way in through here. That's it. It's kind of like a bit counterintuitive now to finish this. What I actually want you to do is sit almost underneath him. I'm going to try and get you to bash his arm with your hips underneath here and pull him backwards. Again. Notice the kind of Homer Simpson walk, walking around the back. Good to go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Damn. Just one last one. So from here, jockey boy. Again, I can come up high. I feel that that underhook goes too deep too early. I can come up high and then drop down. Connect my hands if I can. And let's say now my opponent's going to come to his knees. I don't quite have what I want. Okay, I don't quite have my bicep grip, which is what I want. I can hold here. And what I'm going to do is just leave her down on his head to finish, okay? So it's the first option, right? First option we're gonna do. Leave her down on his head. I'm gonna get you to walk this way with your feet and turn him this way. So look, leave her down on his head. And that's the finish, okay? What did the Hungarians call this? American key. American oh, key. Was it? And it was on top of the head. They had like a figure forward. Yes, that's right. Same movement. Same movement. Doesn't Come matter. Back. I let it that bit out of the video. Because I got it wrong. <laughs> if you got it wrong, I'd leave it in. All right, so it comes up. I hit it. I get here. And I just connect here. Down on the crown of his head with your forearm. Turning. The key is just the rotation. It's from here. To finish. One more. Let's do the completed movement. Go up. I catch here. I end up underneath like we did before. Good. If your opponent here now is able to get to his knees and you feel like you're not choking him, you want to grab him. What do you need? You hear me? Okay. From here, I don't feel like I have, I'm losing the grip. Remember which side is facing his arms on, your head is going underneath, your feet are walking the other direction. Finish there. Let's see that last one again. Yeah. Okay. He gets to his knees. I can't get any more. 
head down underneath, feet down the opposite way, and win the race to the top. So win the race to the sprawl. Head down underneath. How's that? Let's try those two. Three, two, one.